Huzzah! Huzzah! God, I can't believe you put Drake on Adam. Uh, yeah. So he, he gets Drake? the blame. No, I know. Mm-hmm. But we put, I was like, like so when Teddy here, gets here, yeah, I know. But I was like, but if he gets here, Adam put it on. Yeah, you always know you're the one that listens to I, Drake. I know, I know. But your whole, I was your whole vibe blamed. is Drake. That's right. Drake lyrics in your Tinder profile, I heard. Tinder? Yeah. I thought it was Grinder, bud. Oh, uh, that's Grinders and shit? <laughs> <laughs> It is? I don't even know his name. Yeah. He got the whole Kiss kit, huh? Yeah. Pizza pants? Yeah. Oh, stuck that I didn't get any. I got them online, manually. Oh, well. Like, tell, you can't get online? Tell the pluggies. <laughs> Motherfucker, where was I the day they dropped? <laughs> don't even. The plug screwed up big time. The plug is done. Yeah. The plug man got fired. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Must be nice to get things. Yeah, it must be nice to get things. I get anything. Whatever. Got anything in days. Whatever. Last night it was an Apple Watch. It was like 48 hours ago. There was a package that came here for you yesterday. That was just a double up. That doesn't count. That does count. Premium, like the yeah, it's like brand bucks. new one. Yeah. Is it just the casing that makes it more yeah, expensive? Yeah, because this one's like it's stainless like steel or... and whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like scratch resistant. Black anodized stainless yeah. or whatever. Yeah, they're cool. It's definitely cool. It's cool for me because I'm always getting alerts and shit. But yeah. I don't know if everyone else wants like you know what I mean? Like I, do you really want it on your phone, computer, and watch? Here for just a little bit. Yeah, just a bit. Yeah, I don't feel good either. Uh, Cover yourself up real quick so I can put you on the internet. <laughs> Let me tie my fucking strings around my neck. Yeah. Since these boys never seen a girl in a summer yeah. tank top before. But hey y'all boys never seen a girl from a tank top before. Y'all never seen some tits anymore? <laughs> <laughs> you can zoom in on people's houses. So you'll be able to find you via Snapchat now. Fuck that. that. I turned mine on Ghost Phone so fast. <laughs> Look at that shit. Yeah, it tells you exactly where they yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, it tells you exactly where they are. And I was just on someone, so it was like, it told me they were driving. I was like watching them drive a few minutes. Oh, yeah. What? Yeah. Oh my god. Like, hey, she's just driving down That's South Spreading Road. <laughs> so many people car. are going to get caught up. Right? And kidnapped. And kidnapped if, you didn't get ca- if you don't get caught up by your significant other cheating, you're going to get kidnapped. You're about to die. There's nothing Either good way. can come from this. Yeah. Crazy. It's gonna be nice. Alright, let's go to t-shirt shop. You like that kid, he's gonna come over and help me look for him. You know the kid that helps you look for this shit, always the one that stole it? He's like, I'll come over and help. That's so weird, they're right yeah. here, bro. Damn, bro. They're right here, bro. Call you baby roller now. Yeah, dude. Let me see the roller. <laughs> you need a lick, you know. Derek, when Derek paints houses, he paints with his little roller and charges by the hour. I have a keychain to hold the paint. Yeah. And then I have a keychain that holds other sizes of like other types of rollers that are miniature. Yeah. A to-go package. Young roller in the streets. Little little Rizzy. Little roller. Little Rizzy. Little Rizzy roller. <laughs> Look at that. It's beautiful. Look beautiful. Some Mr. Miyagi shit for sure. Yep. Miyagi. Okay. Early day today from the shop. I was only there for like an hour or so. It's insanely busy. It's summertime, the shop's like cooking. I got people reaching out for appointments left and right, trying to get everything situated. Online drop tomorrow. Uh, which is at 8 p.m. by the way. It's 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time and 7 p.m. in California. Uh, but yeah, so the online drop tomorrow for that. 
And we have the pop-up on Sunday, which people are already coming by the shop to uh, see what's good, but that'll start at noon on Sunday at the Tattoo Shop, which is in Littleton on Main Street. Main in Nevada is across street. The lineup will be in the back where I usually shoot my on feats. That's where you're gonna line up. So if you're coming, we look forward to seeing you. There'll be food, drinks, merch, the whole nine. But I started organizing these the other day, and now I'm looking for this one pair that we haven't looked at yet. And I can't find it, of course. Um, oh, and the reason, for everyone that's asking, the reason that I'm not gonna get drop boxes for my shoes is because drop boxes look like shit. That's really just it. Like, I don't, I want my shoes displayed. I don't want them in plastic containers, like boost condoms. I don't, I don't, I don't need, yeah, I don't like that. I think it looks like crap. Uh, I won't do that ever, ever. I don't care. Um, yeah, so, but that's why I don't do that. So shelving systems, still in the way. A lot of people have reached out to me to kind of help with the shelves, so I'm sure we'll get it figured out. Right now, I need to find this one pair. It's the khaki pair that just came out. We never took a look at them. Oh, look, here's the empty Woodwood box, though. Look, nothing in there. A pair of Woodwoods are missing. No idea where they're at. Also, haven't been through everything yet either, so they could be in here. Let's see, where's this box at? Gotta find it. Any of these in No. No. Ugh. I don't see a khaki color anywhere. be this only box that was hidden underneath all the shit. Of course. The very fucking bottom box. Of course. All right. Fuck. Found them. That took, that took 38 minutes. That's ridiculous. All right. So today is an early day. I uh, just got a lot of stuff to do, but real quick, I was going to show you guys this other pair of shoes that I got. Um, Called the Trace Khaki Ultra Boost size 13. Da, da, da. Will be probably pretty short and sweet. We've reviewed quite a few pairs of 3.0s recently. I know we're all ready for 4.0. I know. I'm ready too. That doesn't mean I don't like these. So these are the Trace Khakis. That's what the shoe looks like here. Da, 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 da. So regular 3.0 Steve's. This one fits. Very normal, true to size, 13, nice and baggy, feels great on foot. You know, no changes from your regular Ultra Boost sizing. So you have a khaki base and the PK upper. Digitally peppered in, we have black and a little bit of white, all peppered up in that. Laces that match, uh, regular plastic TPU uh, cage, which is, if I have to nitpick, the only disappointment, like I said the other day, I kinda wish they would just go with leather cages on all of them at this point, but um, this one would definitely be a lot nicer if it had a leather cage, no doubt about it. The uh, 3D printed heel cup on this one with black Ultra Boost branding black, right? Yeah, is it black? It's either black or really dark brown. I honestly cannot tell. No extra laces, regular Ultra Boost drop. Uh, another little khaki insole. Uh, these released, I believe these released worldwide. I've seen some people on the internet saying that they, they didn't release yet and when did these come out, but I'm pretty sure these all drop. I don't think people really went crazy, probably because they didn't call them the creams. If they'd called them the cream 3.0, I'd pretty much feel like everybody would have grabbed them. You know, they did release in, I believe these came from Finish Line, maybe Foot Locker, I can't remember, um, a couple of weeks ago, but a lot of people haven't been able to get them yet because they didn't catch them there. I even think there's some still sitting there in some sizes, but the actual release is supposed to be in July. I had to go look that up because I thought they released worldwide, but they didn't. So um, July, these will drop. I don't know when. Yeah, it's a super cool color. We don't have really any Ultra Boost this color. It's even darker than the Cream 1.0. You know, brown, you know, yeah, it's just, just a cool shoe, you know, cool colorway. I would probably call these the Butterscotch. I might just be hungry though. Of course, Boost, Black Continental Sole, Black Torsion System, regular stuff. I mean, we reviewed however many are in there, we've reviewed them all. So, uh, well, not all of them, but I'm getting to it. Yeah, if you want them, I'm sure you can probably get them, resell on them, cannot be high if there is even any resell at all, because do you know what's dying? Resell, which I'm totally fine with. That's another story for another day, because most people who say Boost is dying 
are really trying to pay their rent off of flipping boost. And if that's the reason you think it's dying, then it's not the shoe that's dying. It's your motherfucker. Your train has already reached the station. That's it. Sometimes you just gotta, you gotta acknowledge facts. Well, they released too many boost models. They're, boost is dead because there's so many boost models. Like, there's just too much. Why do they keep releasing shoes? They keep releasing shoes because one, they're a shoe company. Two, it's probably the most, arguably the most, no, it is the most popular running shoe in the world. So all these neutral colors, you know, like neutral colors with, you know, plastic cage, like regular consumer shoes. Boost is going to be the new standard. You're not gonna see shoes without Boost soon. Based off of this, you're gonna see copies of this. You're already seeing it, Lonzo Ball. Um, but yeah, you're like, that's just like what it is. Like, there's no like, personal validation that comes from buying these shoes, you know, like shoes are shoes. So a lot of people I feel like buy the shoes and they think that they're the only ones that can get them and they try to do this like flex shit and then other people get them and then they trash the shoe and it's there's really like some deeper issue there. I don't really know what, what the fucking problem is. Yeah, that's why they release a bunch of them. That's why you see neutral colorways and that's why you see them sitting. But they're not sitting, they're just available to purchase for the modern consumer. Imagine that. But uh, yeah, that's the Ultra Boost 3.0, Trace Khaki, and this is what it looks like on your feet. Well, on my feet. One thing that I keep getting asked like every day is how I lace and tie my shoes. So here we go, all right? It's really not that serious. It's kind of funny to have to make this video, but I understand it as well. Okay, so I don't always use the top hole because I just don't care. Like it's whatever. If I decide to use it, I use it. I do decide to use the top hole. I go in the other side, you know, so that this comes onto the other side, you know, unlike this coming out of here. So I'll do that and then all I do, Oh, all that I do, I put this up on my shoulder like a parakeet, a little boost parakeet. So I just tie the shoe like regular, right? Do this down here. Boost parakeet in my lap. Boop, boop, boop. All right, so I tie a regular bow in the shoe. If the shoe lace is extra long, I tie a double knot. I know I'm shooting into the light right now. I just, here, let me switch this a little bit. Being all crazy. All right. So regular bow that's taking me way too long to tie. Hard to tie shoes when they're not on your feet. All right, so there's your regular bow, right? Like that. So all I do is tuck it in. So I just tuck it underneath itself. I just, when it's on my foot, it's gonna look a lot better. But I just tuck that under the laces and then it just sits underneath like that. That's all I do. And then my foot is pressing up against it. So you, it doesn't look that good right here, but that, that's it. I just tuck that underneath because I just really don't like the way bows look. Oh. That's it, that's all I do. I don't do anything special. I unloosen this shit like crazy too. I basically un unlace the shoe because I don't like it tight, but that's it, that's how I do it. There you go. Look, that's how you do a floaty picture. 
All right, peace.